Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. My name is Mitch Tabian. This one's going to be on um, creating a login and register with shared preferences. So I'm going to give you a little demo over here. So this is the, the screen you're going to be prompted with when you first start it. You can either log in or register. So we'll click on register. So type your name. And I'll just make my password the same as my name. So I'll make it Mitch. And my email will be Mitch at hello.ca sure hit register so it sends you back to the screen so I'll go Mitch and type in the password hit login and it's going to display your username and your email that you registered so if this is something uh, you want to learn how to do then keep watching um, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to probably make a series of two videos and in the first video I'm just going to do the layout files and in the second video, I'll do all the actual coding. coding. So it's kind of a long name. Uh, so I'll call it, because I already have one of those. I'm going to make it an empty activity. Main activity, sure. <coughs> so yeah, so this is going to be kind of long. Like This may take half an hour to make, so I think it's better to, better to break it up into two, two videos. Layout files are pretty easy to make. Okay. So we already have an activity main, and that's going to be your your initial login screen. That's oh, still loading. I think it's this emulator. It really slows my, my computer down. Okay. So we're going to make another layout file, and we'll call it display info. So this is the the screen that's going to display the username and the email after you log in and we'll create one more and it'll be called uh, register so this is going to be the registration screen so first one we'll go into activity main we can use the design tab why not actually let's uh, let's do the register first yeah oh, it's still just lagging out here make a computer yeah okay all right so the first field we're gonna make it a person's name oh we need to change this to a relative layout there we go and get rid of this or, uh, orientation there we go the computer is just blowing up here probably Oh my god, what is going on here? Okay, I think I think that might be okay. Something's kind of weird here, so I'm going to try and refresh. There we go. Okay. I can delete. That was weird. Let's move this down a little bit. Make it a little smaller. I want you to be smaller. Come on. Jesus, okay. Let's delete it and add a new one. Put that here. There we go. Okay. And the password. And another. I'm just going to put a plain text field, and that's going to be your email field here. And then we're going to need a button in there, too. So there we go. Let's center that. Okay, so let's start putting in the properties for these. So the ID here will be, um, uh, let's say, et new name. And what else do I need to put in here? I don't want any text. I need to put a hint, wherever the hint is. There it is. Uh, so I'll the same name. Oh, I can say enter name. There we go. Okay, and this one, it will be enter password, ID will be edX text new password, and here will be enter email, and ID will be edX text new email. 
Bring it on. Um, so we register. Button new register. And I don't need a hint for that one. Okay, so that should be pretty good for that registration screen. That looks pretty good. Uh, now let's do activity main. So for this one, we're going to have a, another person's name field. And we're going to have a password. And we're going to have a couple buttons. One button, two button. Okay. Let's edit the properties here. Uh, do you need a hint? Yeah. So let's put user name here. ID. Uh, what do we want this ID to be? Uh, edit text name. Let's do that. And I think that's good. Didn't update. Oh, I need to get rid of the text. Right. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay. And so, same thing with the password. ID will go edit text password. And there's that hint right here. Password. Okay. Um, so this will be button login. Don't need a don't need a hint. Just call this call this login. And this button will be the uh, register button. And we'll give it an ID of uh, button register. Cool. Well, why didn't that? Not updating. Fresh. What's going on here? It's weird. Oh, oops. put in the wrong field. There. Okay. Did I do that one too? No. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, button register. Button login. Okay, I think we're good. So that looks okay for our login screen. And we've got a register screen here. So now our display info screen. This is just going to be a plain text view right in the center. Oh, I got changes to relative layout. I don't know why it does linear layout sometimes and relative layout other times. I'm not really sure. So we'll get a text view right in the center. Let's delete that one. What the hell? Okay, let's delete that and try it again. There we go. So I don't know why it's so small. Why is this being so difficult? Just large text? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, and uh, what, do, uh, what do I want to call this? Um, let's do text view name, I guess. And it doesn't really matter what it says, it's going to get place or something. So that's okay. Okay. So we have our three layouts. We got our our login here. I'll I'll show you the the actual code just in case you guys are following along. So we have two edit texts and two buttons for the main layout. And if we go into display info, we just have the one text view. Uh, the ID text view. Do I want that? No, we'll call that call that text view name. Oh, that's where that went. What the, this is doing some weird some weird stuff here. There. Okay, this is text view name. And uh, my registration screen, that's just gonna be three edit texts and a register button down there. Okay, so in the following video I'm going to do the three layouts and that should be all. So keep watching.